Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week, on the 4th of April, Microsoft celebrated its 50th anniversary. And the company was founded on the 4th of April, back in 1975. Now, what we are looking at on my desktop is just a graphical interface of Windows 1, which was the first version of Windows, which was released 10 years after the company was founded on the 20th of November 1985. And believe it or not, Windows 1 only required a minimum of 256 kilobytes of RAM for versions 1.01 and 1.02. And talking of Windows 1, I have posted a video on Windows 1 and it'll give you a little bit more information regarding the first version of Windows. Um, if you would be interested, I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen. Now, although Windows 1 was released back in 1985 as the first version of Windows, Windows 11, believe it or not, still has some of the apps that were introduced in Windows 1 that are still available on Windows 11, which obviously is Microsoft's um, latest version of the OS. And just to have a look at five apps that have been around basically since the beginning that are still used in Windows as core features of the OS. And although they've been around forever, basically, they have been modernized, obviously, to some extent or the other, but at their heart and core, they really remain unchanged. Now, this is in no particular order. And the first one would be your calculator, which is bundled by default in the OS. And over the years, though, it has become quite advanced, as you may well know, with different modes to perform graphic programming, scientific programming, and other calculations. So calculator's been around since the beginning. Paint is another app that's been around. And this was originally called Paintbrush. And it started as a monochrome editor. And as you may well know, is now a full color image editor, which also is now including um, new AI powered features. And another staple basically that's been around since the beginning is Notepad, which is a simple text editor. Um, but it's also now powered by AI. So obviously Microsoft's focus um, these days is to push AI into every app and service. So Notepad has been around. Your clock. Your clock in the system tray started as a basic time display. Now it's got an alarm, world clock, and a focus tool. And you also get the clock app, obviously, that you can download from the Microsoft Store. That's also available that also has all of that functionality. And then one of my favorites um, that I still use almost on a daily basis uh, in Windows 11 that's been around since Windows 1 is the control panel. And at this stage though of the game, Microsoft is migrating a lot of these settings to the more modern settings, as you may well know, in the operating system. But what I like about the, um, the control panel is that it still gives you options and settings to make more advanced adjustments to the OS. So the control panel is still one of my favorites um, and that has been available since Windows 1. So there we go. That's just five apps that have been around basically since the first version of Windows that to some extent or the other are still available today in Windows 11. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.